Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel TN Art. I hope you all are well. So let's start today's video. So today I'm really excited. I wanted to show you something really amazing. But before that, I really want to show you the product beforehand that I used in the process of making these. Because uh, you will see that during the process, I will be getting lost in making the product here. So what I'm using here is I use that washing liquid that I showed you, W5. And then I use this hand wash by Kyrex. Also, after that, I will be showing you the resin that I used in the process of making. So I used high viscosity resin by J Addiction. This is such an amazing resin. And then also I used Let's Resin. That is also amazing. After that, I used this nail uh, UV, you can say glitter top coat. It's so beautiful. So these were ideas that were coming to me when I was making these. So you can see such a pretty uh, glittery sort of, it's sort of UV resin as well. And after that, uh, I did, during the experiment, I used this hand sanitizer to check out if it works or not. And then after that, I will be showing you some UV resin that were color UV resin that are by Lightwish. I do have a tutorial and these are amazing. I have a link for, for all of these products in my description and also some discount codes for you. So after that the uv lamp that i used is by let's reason it's an amazing it's their new product and as i have shown me in this in my previous video that this is such an amazing lamp in previous video i showed you that there are two parts i'm using one part here and then i use some of this glitter and then aura flakes so let's start the experiment now so all of you have noticed that what i'm doing here yes i am trying to make those beautiful people here that are made by daniel cooper so and all of you know I that he experiments a lot and actually he's a pioneer in creating experiments and making amazing stuff out of resin here using uv resin normal resin and you just talk about it and his list is going on amazing ex experiment and the top quality of this amazing person is that he shares the secret ingredient that is you know something it's really take a lot to share something it's really secret to you it's really up to you if you want to share or not this is his his he's amazing in this i don't have any words for this so now let's start the process here so i will link the video of his in my description so you can see how he is making it because he do explains it very nicely in a very humble way what I'm doing here is I have taken the washing liquid here. So at the moment I'm using let's resin. So what he do here is uh, he start pour, pouring the resin on the top layer of the washing liquid. So Daniel used a shampoo and that is a specific shampoo. So it's really all about the uh, you can say density of the uh, washing liquid. It, if it's too flowy your resin will flow float to the bottom really fast if it's thick. It will take some time but believe me what i did was i just poured some glitter into the washing liquid and now i'm just pouring the resin on top of it this is first time i'm making them so i really don't have any idea how this works so you can see as i was pouring uh, the resin was coming down uh, the starting of this project was a bit difficult for me because i was understanding how this works also please be careful because i will be using the uv light a lot in making these so please take care of your eyes and if i do turn on the lamp please if you if you can see you can see if not please avoid but the process is so mesmerizing some one thing that i learned that uh, i have to continuously move the cup for this first time i didn't move the cup all around so you can see a lot of my uh, droplets have touched the glass base here also, one thing I noticed that I took a little amount of the washing liquid. I think I need to fill up the cup so that when the resin falls down, it has a room to move. So here is something that I'm showing you that I did try it. Uh, I was actually doing some stuff and I, it was not working out. And his video, I already watched it, but his second video came in front of me. And these are so amazing. The story behind, of, uh, behind each of these sculptures are so amazing. It's like they are just, they have some connection with you. I was feeling it. So I really wanted to try it. So as the experiment is working here, you can see the resin has been poured to the bottom of the container here. So if you take more of the washing liquid, it will take some time uh, to move the droplets down. But I think I took a little less of the washing liquid. So it's curing now. So it's almost time. I did move my cup a lot. So let's see how this one turns out. 
So with a pair of tweezers, I'm really afraid. Let's see how this looks like. So I can already see the sculpture was broken here. I wanted to show you that my first, this was my first one and it didn't came out really well. So after uh, taking out from the liquid here, I put all of these into another uh, container that I have water in. So here I'm just removing all of it because it was actually a broken uh, piece here. So first one is a bit of, you can see on the fail side. Now this is going to be a challenge here and be careful. These are so addictive. I really have, I can't say them how many I did, I made. So again, I took the liquid here and now I'm pouring some glitter in there. Just to create some sort of movement here. Some interest, although the sculptures on their own are so beautiful glass-like. So now I am using some blobs and some lines going in circles. So this is something like you unknown, you don't know what you're making here. It's unknown to you. Now you can see the one of the blob here or the droplet you can see is coming down really fast. And I was trying to turn on the UV lamp as fast as I can because everything is coming down now. So it went down and I'm taking it out of the uh, washing liquid now. So in this way, I made multiple sculptures. So I will be just making them and you just enjoy the process. In between, I will be adding some aura flakes as well. The process itself is so mesmerizing to watch where you just drop the resin into the washing liquid and just turn on the UV lamp and then you just see the drops falling down. It's such a process on its own. So you just watch it. So here you can see I have multiple sculptures. Each one of them is telling their so own story. So this is the one that I put into hand sanitizers and these are the colored UV resin. As you can see, they have no beauty in them. They are beautiful, but still the clear one are amazing. I just love the clear results. These are the clear ones. So back to making the original ones. So this was actually next day and I had some ideas in my mind. So I'm uh, working with the J Addiction High Viscosity Resin it's uv so you can see i have two parts of uh, liquid here below is the washing liquid that i was using before on top i'm using the hand washing liquid that i showed in the start so at this time i actually you know you can see i have doubled the liquid to see how i will get the results so i'm pouring a lot of resin pouring a lot of you can so see big drops i just want to see how this looks like so i made few later on and out of, out of them i will be select the one that i can see are working together and telling a story
so i have selected all the sculptures that were made here and actually i will be going to take them to the next level so this one is made from the tiny container i showed you that is made for the nail top coating so it turned out really pretty with the glitter so this is the actually glitter that i poured into the container of this uv resin that my uv resin has been finished so i just poured it into the nozzle and just pressed it into the liquid here as you can see i made so many so these are all in between all the sculptures that i was making so this one turned out to be a sort of a alien you can say outer space cosmic family i just love each one of them has something to say about them and this is i think a sort of garden i can say um out of space garden and this is something very different i was going to make angels actually out of these but these are this family is decided to be something else so there is a little part that you will be seeing i turned them these sculptures into something different so i'm just showing you how they all turned out this is to me a mother telling story to her children it's really up to you it's your mind whatever you want to name them make them this is such a beautiful clear one but i don't have any name for this family here if you have anything in my mind please do let me know but for the ones that i know what i'm going to do with them i'll just show you one thing i just want to show you here that there are so tiny connections in between them it's really like something scientific as well it's spiritual as well you just name it it has something to tell about you so this one turned out to be a functional art i made a ring here so this is a functional jewelry here it was looking so pretty before i decided to rub some powder on them but i decided later on to just leave it like clear it's so beautiful like clear so on to the next step is that i made few of them and on few of them you will be watching me what i will be doing here so you can see these are tiny angel wings so yes i am making one of these into an angel sculpture just uh, finding the right one to make it so i have one in my mind so this is this one is going to be the angel here the moment i made it i decided to make this one into an angel because i really don't know but it was it was talking to me and it was telling me that yes he ha it has to be an angel So then uh, you can see that this the one that I'm showing you here these are for nails so I bought, bought these these are tiny moons and stars perfect for making decoration items for my resin but I thought why not use them in my sculptures here so I'm just choosing some of the stars and, and in between the circles I will be adding these stars and moons so it's just a talking of a circle the sacred circle that is talking about the stars and moons telling a story so simply i'm just putting a little bit of uv resin on the places and then i'm attaching these so this was really a very tedious job to do adding smaller details to the uh, items here so i have just shown you a little bit of what i did so the process was really long but please stay tuned and see all of the sculptures how they turn out let's see how they all look like so this one all was a pure beauty a pure uh, crystal clear uv resin and you can say it's a family but i really don't have any name for this one sometimes your mind don't work it is but so beautiful to look and watch i just love this one at whatever angle i place it it has a beautiful sight to me this one is like a you can say a scientific garden plant something like this it was such a beauty i added some aura flakes as i described so it's looking lovely here and this is the one that i told you about that the cosmic family or i um, galaxy family because i added a lot of aura flakes to this one so these are like little dudes discussing about something it's such a beauty i was actually finding a right things to add to these as a base so as soon as i will find anything i will show you that how the final product will look like but at the moment these are beauty on its own and daniel just created something so amazing i'm so mesmerized love it and this is the family that i was talking about this is actually the moon family they wanted a moon to be with them so this this sculptures only needed a tiny bit of glitter and a moon so i just love adding these details to them 
so i have few pictures at the end of the video if you want to see them clearly so do uh, watch the video to the end and this is the angel ladies and gentlemen i was talking about it's such a perfect angel i love it you can see there is a little bit of chin to this angel as well it's just a uh, magic of reason and some soap that's it and look what we can create and these angel wings were perfect combination i just love when your vision comes into a reality here so this is a star moon family a sacred circle and i just love ma making it it's simple but you add some star and moons turning them into a beauty And then comes this mother telling story to her children and I added some dried flower and a twig and some moss. It turned out it to be a, such a beautiful pure sculpture here. I just love this one. It's a beauty. So it's your imagination. You just take it to next level, whatever level you like to take it. So showing you uh, these is a one thing and myself i was looking at them for so long and then the last one is a jewelry you can say it's a functional jewelry and this is really a strong ring i won't say that it is no, it's super strong but it is strong and i just love how this one turned out if you wear something like this this is definitely going to be a star of the show everyone will talk about it how beautiful this ring looks like so I actually was not making the ring. I wanted to make some bigger size uh, figurines here, but it turns out to be a ring here. And this one, this the, the, they have a, a sort of combination. Beautiful art. And thank you again, Daniel, for your amazing experiment. I really enjoyed making it. I might be making these more because I love them. So again, thank you so much. And if you like the video please like subscribe and share thumbs up if you like the video and if you haven't subscribed please consider do so and please do make these they are so fun and also let daniel know how amazing his tips and experiments are thank you so much take good care of yourself bye bye